All right, guys, back on site. Today we're installing the septic system. I'm Mike, owner of Tri-County Masonry and Excavating. And we got to figure out our elevations from the septic tank to the D-box, which is a quarter inch per, or an eighth inch per foot. Um, at my distance, it's about three and a half, four inches. So basically, Saturday, I came over, I laid out the septic field. Well, here, check that out. All right, back on site. So Saturday morning here, I'm just laying this out so I could excavate this for Monday. Uh, obviously, you've seen the tank go in. And got to be 20 foot off the corner of the house. I range 38 to the first line. We got to be 12 foot off the property line. The D box got to be at a 45 like that. So there's a lot of measurements going on here. So this is the house. This is the driveway. This is the leach field. Here's the property line right here. Okay. So I'll show you what I got going. Let's do it. There's the tank. That's where it's going to come out of the house. Here's the export here. Blue line here is the line heading to the DB box, which the tank is off. Uh, the D box is off 20 feet off the corner of the house to the corner of the tank. That's code 10 foot on the tank off the house. That's code. This will be everything in blue will be my trench. So I'm going to over excavate this. This is called the trunk when you put this whole trunk going down. So each line, your, your first box, you want to line up with your line. So all my measurements are right. This will be my first line. Then each line is six foot off. And there's five laterals. Or no, excuse me. There's six laterals, 50 feet a piece. Um, and one, they got to pitch one inch. And the trench gets 18 inches or so stone, roughly. Um, so basically, this is called the trunk. So each piece, you're going to come out with a solid. As soon as you hit your line, you switch to perforated. And then the next one comes out. 90s and then 90s that way and next one at 90 90 and just so on and so forth just like that and every one of these pipes will be in the trunk the solids and then they branch off and go into the leach field you want to keep everything tight embedded and you'll see all that monday as we excavate but here's my layout your first one's the most important normally you don't have to mess with uh well i shouldn't say normally but we're there's a tight spot we have to fit everything in the property line off the house everything so there wasn't much area here obviously in tight developments you got to fit them in but most tight developments have sewer so you don't have to deal with leach fields so this is tight for an open as much open area as we have the property lines right here so basically i did six foot off of each pin well, for each line, put a pin, and this is the last leech line I'll show you. I just have a pin there and a pin there. Put a string, paint the string. Gives you your easiest, fastest way to make a straight line. And then you put your bucket dead center in that line. That way you know your pipe will fit dead center in the trench. And you got a little room left or right to move it if you got to tweak it. But just put your bucket... And there's our six lines. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And they'll all be 50 a piece. Everything's to print off the house to code. So we're laid out for Monday, and uh, yeah, this will hopefully will be a little bit more dry. It's a little breezy with some sun and a little bit of clouds. We had a monsoon, three and a half inches of rain. Uh, in one night, so we had to take a day or two off of this place But Monday we'll be back on it All right, so it's Monday now and now here is the line we laid out and uh, This is where the D box is going. So basically my inlet here Has to be four inches lower than the outlet on that tank. So I'll dig from that outlet right here and you got to have your math right. These are the most important things. The, the math for the tank, for your uh, outlet on the house to the inlet in has to be right. Then the outlet here to the inlet of the D-box. And you got to have a 4-inch pitch on the pipe. So you got to do shoot your stick on there. And if you're shooting from the top of the pipe, remember that when you go to measure from there. Or from the bottom of the hole, whatever. <clears throat> you just got to deduct or add 4 and a half. So basically, once you get this in and I excavate down to the bottom here do my math to get to the bottom of the tank and the math to put the stone in the bottom of the hole that will be the 
there that will be what how deep I got to go on the trunk that's what we call this right here where all my pipes of solids come in and then into the perforated trenches which are these holes here and uh, yeah let's get started I want to thank all my subscribers I got up to 500 over the weekend great I need another quick 500 to get monetized so all you guys and girls that are watching right now that aren't subscribed please hit that subscribe button it means a lot to me and all right so what I did right there I stuck a pipe in there, just a temporary pipe. That's not the pipe that goes in there. You gotta have schedule 40 coming out of there. So that this gave me my height. I leveled that pipe and then set the laser to that, deducted the four and a quarter for the pipe and deducted the four inches that I need for pitch, set that on the laser. Now I'll run this trench all the way down to the D box, make sure it's got a four inch pitch. We use X's for grades. That's the grade four uh, inches lower than that pipe right to here. And when we put this bet, the schedule 40 in, you get better than a little sand if it's a half inch or so. Just to fine tune it, take this line out. I'm gonna excavate for this trunk. There'll be a little more mass from this point to get to the, the inlet. This pipe right here is at our X height. So then we gotta, right now, stub a pipe in there, measure down how far it is to there, and get that measurement. Um, now I gotta measure to the bottom of the hole, to the bottom of the tank, and when I come across, then that's the depth of that, and then you gotta add first stone. So we got eight inches to the bottom of the pipe. So that means at the bottom of this trench, we gotta drop down another eight, and that will be the bottom of my tank. Got to have the math right for this water. You're dealing with eighth inch increments here for water on septic. All right, let's pull for the trunk. Again, nice easy scoops. You don't want to blow your trenching out. And always put your dirt to the outside where you're not going to be jumping over the piles and the machines and whatnot. It's all strategy. Let's see how I did. Here's the trunk. Now remember, we need another eight down from our pipe. So my pipe was here. I went up another eight on the stick, which would lower the stick down. Shoot our trench. We're good. Right there. So we're good on that. As you can see, it's within, you know, half inch, all this fluff. Um, but we got to go down another foot for stone put a stone base under that only in this area the rest of the trunk doesn't get the stone so you're only putting 
another foot down in this box. All right, that should do it. Now we'll put stone in there and level up the D-box. Once we get all the mechanics done, then it's a no-brainer. Then the septic goes pretty easy. You're just gonna pull off of that D-box for all your elevations and you should be good. And you'll see that in a bit. Let's see how I did. Got to come up three eighths. And this one is half inch high. So we'll just pat this down. I'll put a little pea stone on the top to level it up. Fine tuner. All right, quick charge on the GoPro. It's a good way to blow your back out. All right, tamp, 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 tamp the stone down, pat it. Get her all good and good. And then reshoot it. Got the piece stone in here over the top of the twos. That's about the box. Plenty big enough for that. Reshoot it. Screed it off with a level. All right. We're good. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So basically, once I double check it, even though you shot it with a laser, make sure that bubble's good. Showing good. Screed it off. Because this thing's heavy, and I'm by myself. Do not want to lift it in and out eight times. All right. There's my mark. There's my paint. Looking good. I got over 20, so 20 is here. You can't be below 20. You could be 25, 30, whatever you want to be. You just got to be 20 foot off. Perfect. Got the right range going through. Level again. Good on that one. This side shows it can go down a touch. All you do is pick up on it, drop it a couple little times, give it a little tampy tamp, and she's good. All right. All right, guys. Triple check before you go any further because you're just wasting a lot of time if you don't. Shoot top of your pipe. Shoot top of your pipe here. Okay. Obviously, the lever is shut off because you want four inches of pitch. So when that's level, right there, look it. Four inches above, four inches, four inches pitch from there to the D box. Now you can run your laterals. If you don't have this math correct, there's you don't do that leach field because nothing will drain right. So cut all your insides out, only the ones you're using. Cut them from the inside out to like this. It's a lot easier. You get right to the edge. I need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do not cut this one or that one because they are gaskets at that point. We're gonna keep the trunk a foot in the ground the whole way. Then we'll pull the laterals off of that afterwards, but keep your same distance of the foot. Gauge it with your bucket. It's not too critical. You know, you're always gonna pad it up if you had it with some stone. If you get a little too deep, you just wanna make sure you got enough. Great, just what I need. What blew out here? Huh, all oh, right there. Right there. A little chafing maybe. So it's my ram, it's my bucket ram. Good thing, she's only a little whip. We'll get that tore down. The only thing is, it's up in the air right now. Uh, can't move it, cause she'll be spraying and it was already spraying in the cab on me. Let's get her fixed. All right, back in business, all fixed. Uh, took about 35 minutes to go get it, put it on. We're close to the hydraulic shop. Meridian's Hydraulic, if anybody ever that's local needs hydraulic repair or any kind of craziness, they do all kinds of stuff. Out in Skodak. Good people, family business. All right, 
right, just took some measurements. The trunk's looking pretty. And uh, now we'll run the whole trunk before we run our laterals. Get that done, dude. Just cut these out. Just be careful you don't cut the gasket part. So you'll see as I take that off, you see that gasket? Watch that, so we'll go in between that and the concrete, and you should be good. Let's go nice and easy. And then, uh, like so, and then that that's your gasket. You see how that pipe goes on there, and then your speed sensor goes on there. Make sure, make sure your first one's super tight, so this 90's just about right there, because you gotta come around with this next pipe, then that pipe goes straight out. But that's why you gotta give yourself enough room on the overdigs, or the pipes don't fit. All right, so here's my trunk. There's my lines all in. Just wanted to make sure everything fit and got started. Cut all my pieces in here. You know, there's pieces in each 90. Four inch cut there, eight inch cut to get around that. Uh, Reese made sure that this was square with my line. You know, range it up. Make sure that's square with that line that we're going to draw because that is our dig. And if this box isn't square these cuts coming off of here are going to be funky when you put your 90 you want to all you know it's still going to work if it was off a little bit but perfection's perfection you know even though it's buried it still makes it look like a picture so you want to do it as close as you can to that drawing so the trunk's all dug out pipes are laid out everything's going to be fit fit so now i'll just take these two pipes off here on the closest end and start excavating one at a time all right, lasers on the stick. Green light is good. A uh, lot of discrepancy what I've seen in the last month or so, people doing videos of this. You wanna leave your bucket open completely all the way so there's no, if, you, if your bucket does this, that's room of air. If your bucket's all the way open, then you know it's all the way open. Leave your stick at a 90, that's great, done deal. If your bucket is flat, and you curl your teeth a little bit or open them a little bit and you can't tell from the cab, you're inches off. So if your bucket's completely open or it's locked open, it takes all the guessing out of it. All right. And that's that. Stay with the line and dig. The hardest one to get stone in because we got this pile here like i said once we start excavating this once this pipes in we'll take the material here and put it on top of this trench and you work your way across you just got to leave the ends open so the inspector could engineer can uh shoot his elevations so this stone in here right now i'm going to rake down to six inches then the pipe goes on that and then the pipe will have a one inch pitch so make sure your stone it goes from six to five and you should be good. All right, got the stone in. I'm gonna go with solid first for your first foot to you get in your trench bed where your stone is. And that's where your fabric will be and all that. So solid 
first foot. All right, reason for the solid for the first foot is this is still the trunk. You know what I mean? We're still in this trunk area. Then it's perforated from here. And that's where the measurement from the 50 starts too. Uh, once you hit the perf, make sure your holes are at the bottom, like so. Okay, run your five sticks out. All right, everything's set to height. Now I'm gonna pad the whole thing with stone on both sides and two inches over the top. Then the filter fabric. end cap on all right got filter fabric in all right batteries dying let's see if I can get you charging in the in the machine here so on the second lead we're taking the dirt from there put it in on top of that one uh, make sure you're six inches down from your trunk each pull so you're six inches right off that trunk laser set to that height we're ready to go Right there, all right. all right. That should work. That will give us six inch for our stone. Then your stone's always even with your trunk because your pipe's coming off even. So remember, that's, that's how important that trunk is to lay out and rake it out by hand. Make sure you get it right. Get these lines nice and straight. All right, end of the day, got my filter fabric on the second line and all in and installed. Repainted my lines here, just touch them up as you go because when you start running the stone in with the skid steer, you don't want to lose them. I'll show you how uh, these tie in. So you see the first one come out, second one comes here and that's my second line 90s in and goes on out and then the third one will come here 90 there right on out and so on and so forth so you get the gist hopefully i gave you a step by step to get these two in and then i'll speed through it now and give you a closing uh hopefully tomorrow if we don't get rain i'll be able to get the rest of this in and then he has to come and do the, his inspection then i could doze everything and shape it put a swale around that end and just shape this end so a swale comes down in between here so don't saturate the system. Then we'll grade up around this place and call it kaput.
back on site so <clears throat> on the third trench here just got done doing that now i go through with a rake and just rake it out even though it's pretty good i mean you could just put the stone in there it's shot with a laser around the boom but uh once you get your trunk you know you always gotta have your measurements so you once your trunk is you just you do your trunk at the bottom of the pipe then you got to do another six for stone so if your trunk is dead money i just take my level come across i measure six and that's what i set my laser to you know what i mean just level that off your bank because you already got that at your your correct height six there run the laser all the way just a quick pro tip on how to get that notch right there i didn't explain that before just want to make it clear so i'm gonna go ahead and rake this throw the stone in then you set the stone at six inches throw your pipe in and bed the stone bed the pipe with a one inch pitch going out and good to go on the third call that three done all right green light means go number five people last line number six there's five right there ready to be backfilled all right green light means go always take one swipe double check your grade make sure that laser is good and she's good right there nice and nice septic system leach field is complete tomorrow i will set the tank from the house and the rest of this pipe got that pipe in there d box is in there oh my trunk looks great nice and straight everything's set i'll bring water tomorrow and these will be set these are your speed dialers so you could just adjust these to the water but it should be pretty good real close because everything's set perfect the trunk nice and straight all my 90s going in perfect uh bed everything in pea stone and sand or dirt you know just fine dirt this is the last one and i'll leave that open you only need to leave each end starting point here and he puts a stick on there and then the end how i have on each and then he could adjust them all but this last one because i swapped the dirt over stays open then i take the dozer and push everything from here over this and cover the whole system after it's inspected back on site rained all last night sun's out though good thing we got the leach field in <clears throat> basically here we're gonna hook the tank up schedule 40 quarter inch per foot on this section and uh i'm gonna come out four foot put a 45 like so get me over to there and then a 45 into the tank dry fit everything put all your marks just so uh you get everything in before you glue it if you glue it it's done so if it's dry fit and you get it in good to go all right 45s in glued primed quarter inch per foot 
all right we got the last fitting to the system right here on this last 45 ready to go in it's prime just gonna glue it and stick it and she's done all right guys it's all connected inspection went well so what we are doing Take your water, dump it right on in. We're gonna adjust these speed dials. Hang on, I got some, hang on, I got some debris in here. I don't want going down in. Hopefully they got enough water here. All right, once you get her up, adjust these. Put them all to the bottom first. All right, and they should all take at the same time, just the way they are. And I knew they would because my my box is dead level. But you just adjust them in case one's a sixteenth off. You see how that's taken very so slow, so slow, and so slow. They're all good. And uh, you just let that water drain out, and then do it again. Do it twice. Let's give a recap here on everything. So the tank has to be 10 foot off the house, 10 foot off any structure. Ideally, we'd want this tank straight off of this pipe, okay? But we couldn't because of the 10 foot and the pipe coming out of the house where it's located, how to put a 45. You can't put 90s on here, but you can do the 45. Quarter inch per foot on this line. Baffle does not go there, it goes here. I don't know where my brain was at, but there she's in on the outlet of the tank your export out of your your outlet out of your uh tank is an eighth inch per foot which will give us four inches to the d box d box has got to be 20 foot off the house um and have your speed dialers in now once you go from eighth inch your laterals are going to be 16th inch now that's your maximums uh so on a 50 foot stretch that would be three inches maximum preferably uh, we like to use uh one inch you know that's what we got on this one inch on your 50s that's ideal and like i said make sure your trunk's bedded all nice with some pea stone put a foot of stone under the tank uh your filter fabric six inches of stone under it obviously you've seen all that in the video um and your trenches you want nice healthy two foot wide two foot deep trenches over here they'll be two feet by the time we put the material from here over and uh yeah we got all this rain so i'm gonna let it dry a little bit before i backfill put the caps on the tanks and this one's a wrap All right, guys, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you check out the video before this on the septic tank install. And the next video after this will be grading the site. But this one's complete. And thanks. Thumbs up. Have a good one.